Hello, guys. Hello, hello, people. Welcome to this class. This is class number, if I'm not mistaken, this is class number 19, guys. So we are getting almost at the end. So almost at the end of our course. We are more than a half away, guys. Yesterday we had our test. We will solve it today, guys. So we will see it later on, guys. Before we start with all this, guys, I want to know. Uh, people, let's, before we start the class, guys, I want to have your opinion about these last days of rain that we have had. So what's your opinion? Do you think is it normal or is it something different that you haven't seen? Do you think that we Salvadorians have a problem. So let's see, I'll start with, um, or something happened to you, I don't know, you had a problem or you had something funny to tell us. Go ahead, tell me a lot of things. Tell me a, about this last days. So I'll start I with- I wanna share something with you. Uh, go ahead, Marta, start. Hello, Mr. Hello, everyone, yeah. I, I remember that I told you before about uh, this Korean, the, this Korean guy, he was here and he left the country last week. Yeah, but uh, today we receive a new that the poor guy is with COVID. He's isolated in Korea. Yeah, poor guy. Wow. <laughs> I think uh, he, uh, was infected here because you know uh, I told you last week the same about my co-workers there and a poor guy for real poor little guy so um, well <laughs> that's a misfortune you know so anyways Poor little guy. So let's see. Let's see something else that you would like to share with us. Jacqueline. Guys, whether it's possible, let's go ahead. Turn your cameras on. If you are having dinner or something, do it later, right? But please, everybody, activate your camera, guys. Okay? Whether it's possible or not. So Jacqueline, tell us, what's your opinion about this last rainy days? About what? Can you repeat this the last question? Day uh, sorry, this last rainy days, what's your opinion? So did you have uh, uh, something you want to share with us, something that happened to you? Or... Yes, uh, today I was at some, pro um, some issues uh, with, yesterday I have some issues with my car. And today I was a big problem with my car because someone, uh, crushed me back to my car. And it was so difficult because it was raining this afternoon. And I feel nervous and I feel very bad. And, and I don't know what I can do. And because it was raining, it a lot of traffic that is happening in that moment. And I feel uh, and this moment nervous about that happened that because I never had that situation and it's happened but uh, that is the reason that you can learn about that how do you deal the traffic in, in raining in that moment uh, and that is the reason that I think that I have to buy a, some secure secure for my car an insurance. An insurance, yes, for my car. That is, and I think that is important. Yeah, it would be a good idea. What about the heat? Did you have dents, abolladuras in the car? Abolladuras, yes. Dents. We call them dents in English. So did you have any mm -hmm. dent? No, no, I don't have. Okay, so just scratches. Rafael. Yes, crashes. Okay. Yes, crashes back up my car. Yes. Okay. Well, still it's bad, you know. And your car, what car do you have? A Nissan, a Nissan Sentra. What year? Uh, 
200 knife. Well, pretty new. So, uh, are you going to take it to the te to the technician to the workshop? Are you going to repair it? Like yes, I have to going to repair it because it crashed the light. The I don't okay. know how you say by a foul. The trunk. The trunk, yes. Okay, I'm sorry, lady. I hope, uh, you know. So later, people say people say that things happen because of one reason, right? So hopefully something good will come to you, lady. So don't worry. Do not get frustrated. Forget about everything. Remember, you have the opportunity to repair it. I know nobody wants to pay for things they didn't do, but who knows? Probably there is going to be something good in the future because what you did. Believe me, yeah. it happened to me. Had a lot of problems in the past, economic problems, and I was like frustrated. But at the end, now, thank to these economic problems, I have the job that I have right now. <laughs> So, and I feel good with this job, you know? So we don't know how they are going to affect our life. So good. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, people, let's go today, guys, with the test, okay? So we are going to see how we did, right? How was it? Uh, give me just a second. Uh, for the ones having dinner, Bon appetit. Guys, how do you say, how do you say provecho in English? Enjoy. You know what? Teacher. It doesn't exist. Uh -huh. yeah. Someone uh, tell Some me that. Some people say enjoy, but actually it's not like, uh, like we say here, for example, if you see some people, some people eating sometimes, you say buen provecho, right? Enjoy probably would say it. Uh, my mother would say after she cooked, she would say enjoy. Or we are at the table, we would say enjoy. But if you see some strangers, you cannot tell you, hey, enjoy. It's like, thank you. But it's not like Salvadorian buen provecho, right? Sometimes you can use bon appetit, which is French. But, uh, you know, anyways. So enjoy your meal. Yeah, but you know, it doesn't have that sense of the Spanish stuff. Uno va en las calles y le puede decir a cualquier persona que vea ya comiendo una tortilla, hey, buen provecho. But in English, you are not going to go like, uh, uh, enjoy. Madrugar, yeah, madrugar, it doesn't exist in English. So you can say, you can have a nice dinner. Uh, nice uh, yeah, meal. of course. But it's, it's, you know, it doesn't exist at the end. Like madrugar, it doesn't exist in English. Uh, yeah, it doesn't hello. exist. I'm sorry, Joaquin? Uh, no, I say hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. So, good. People, let's go right now. Before we go to the test, people, I know it was pretty difficult, this one. For some of you other people got really good scores. So congratulations on that one, guys. Uh, I was checking the scores. The scores are good, guys. So I really like it. So that that's pretty good, you know. Let's go and let's solve the test together. Give me one second, guys.
Okay, guys, let's go with this one. Instructions, choose the best answer to these questions, right? A, B, C, or D. So let's go right now. Let's listen to it. This recording is from the British Council. Welcome to today's show. We are very happy to have Anna Oliveira as our guest today. Anna is the creator and founder of Homeworks, spelled with an X, we should note, an app which helps teenagers with their homework. Thanks for coming in, Anna. Thanks for having me. So tell us about your app. How does it work? Well, so guys, let's go with the first one, Anna. Anna didn't start the company, but manages it started the company but doesn't manage it anymore started the company and manages it now that one the last letter c. Letter c. Letter c. good excellent the app the app is for parents to learn from is for students no. who want to find a tutor is for students to learn from let's see well, teenagers and their parents have numerous challenges when it comes to homework these days. In many families, both parents work and don't have much available time to help their kids with their homework. And even if they do have time to help, they may not be able to offer support with the content. What I mean is, they may not know or at least remember enough in any given subject to support. You mean they might not be able to remember complex maths or might have never studied certain subjects such as biology or economics themselves? Exactly. So they might want to support their children with their homework but have neither the time nor the knowledge to do so. I see. So the app helps solve this problem? Yes, and more. The next issue is that tutors can be expensive and there may be long waiting lists for specialist tutors in the town or region you live in. Our Homeworks app brings students and tutors together online. Students can search a database of pre-approved tutors and sign up for live online support. They don't need to be in the same town or city. That sounds... So guys... The app is for students who want to find uh, an for a tutor. Who to want to find, yeah. Who wants to find a tutor? Good, excellent. <clears throat> Come on. Many parents don't have the time or knowledge to help with their children's homework. Don't want to help with their children's homework. Think that school should help with their children's homework. The first letter, one. Letter A. A. The first letter one. Letter A. Don't have time. Okay. The app offers live online support for. Creo que no hemos llegado a eso, right? So, let's continue. It's really great. great. It is, and this approach also enables us to offer the tutoring services at lower prices. Because there's no traveling time involved for the tutor to get to the student's home. And tutors who live in remote areas are happy to get access to more students and be able to work from home, even at lower rates. This all sounds great. So how did you come up with the idea? Well, as you might guess... So the app offers live online support from tutors. It is only for people in remote areas has student exercises on it. Letter A. Letter, Letter A. A offers live Letter online A. support for from tutors, from tutors. Good. On the app, tutors who live in remote areas often charge higher rates, charge lower rates, don't like to work too much. Often charge lower rates. They charge often lower rates. Right, good. The app is, let's see. Already popular. Uh, well, let's listen to it. I was one of those parents I described earlier. I really wanted to help my son with his homework, but I was either too busy with work or I didn't actually know anything about the subjects he was having difficulty with. 
Also, we live in an area where there aren't many tutors, and the ones that are there are either very expensive or have long waiting lists. Yes, I can understand your predicament. Well, it sounds like a very useful app that is clearly meeting a need, and its popularity obviously speaks for itself. Thank you. So, do you have plans for the future? We. So, guys, what about the popularity? It is popular. It is already popular. It's not very successful. It's new, and not many people know about it. So, the first one. It's already be... popular. It's already, already popular. popular. Okay, it's already popular. Uh, part three, guys. Marta, go ahead. Oh, teacher, can you come back to the number five question, please? Yeah, yeah. On the app, on the app, tutors who live in remote area. That is the correct answer, right? Often but charge. I, but double I also have it bad, like you. I yeah. Think. Yes. I have it bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, wrong. I see. So the app helps solve this problem. Yes, and more. The next issue is that tutors can be expensive and there may be long waiting lists for specialist tutors in the town or region you live in. Our Homeworks app brings students and tutors together online. Students can search a database of pre-approved tutors and sign up for live online support. They don't need to be in the same town or city. That sounds really great. It is, and this approach also enables us to offer the tutoring services at lower prices because there's no travelling time involved for the tutor to get to the student's home. And tutors who live in remote areas are happy to get access to more students and be able to work from home, even at lower rates. This. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the answer. So, se las marcó incorrecto, guys. Yeah. Sí. Okay. We will check that one, guys. Okay. Yeah, because because the discology mark as a correct a letter C. Don't like to work too much. Okay. Yeah. Often. Okay, guys. So, voy a corregírselas a todos. Entonces. Good. Well, ahí estamos, guys. That's the way it should be. People match the concepts on the left with the corresponding definition on the right. Establish credibility. Attract on hold the interest and attention of the audience during a talk. No, ideas or questions that cause people to think seriously about something. No, nervousness before or during an appearance. It means showing your audience you have their, their best interest at heart, that you are knowledgeable about the subject that you are speaking about and that evidence you to support your argument is trustworthy. Marked by a compact, precise expression without wasted words, occupy, attract, or involve someone's interest, la, la, la. So it will be letter D, right? Yeah. Pro provoking questions. Uh, well, it's what? Ideas, ideas, or letter B, ideas or questions that cause people think seriously about something. Good. Page fried. Nervousness. C. C, letter C. Good. Engage. That is? Yes. Letter, uh, letter F. F. Succinct. Uh, what is e. succinct? E. Marked e. by a compact, precise, which yeah. without waste. Letter E. e. E and obviously letter A, A will be this one. And that's the way it goes. Grammar, let's go a esta parte que nos interesa. Write sentences using infi infinite, infinite, correctly. Don't worry, do I do that? Uh, number one, let's see. A holiday, we take. Blah, 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 blah. We, important guys, so we start with a capital letter all the time. We plan to take a holiday. And 
guys. So, aquí está el punto. Entonces, it's not necessary to add a second dot or period, sorry, at the end. So, let's see. Go as soon as possible. So, I decided... I decided to go as soon as possible. To go home, teacher. Oh, sorry, mister. Home. Yes. To go home. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot that there. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, guys. So we need to be careful with this one, okay? Everybody, even me. So, I hope to see you. next week. week. <laughs> Guys, another problem was mistakes with uh, writing, writing mistakes. So spelling actually, spelling mistakes. So be careful with it. So for example, here, yo había escrito así. Eso ya es error, it's a mistake. Claudia, go ahead. Yes, that for example, in the case of number one, I have it in that way, we plan to take a holiday. But I have a point at the final of the sentence. It is, this is the reason that I, I uh... That's the reason, lady. Porque al final tendría dos puntos. Mira aquí. Tendría dos puntos. Si yo le pongo punto aquí. Um, well. <laughs> okay, teacher. I'll help you with those, guys. I help you with those, okay? So, okay. I'll help you to correct these little mistakes. But please pay attention to it all the time. Let's see. The, blah, blah, the manager, the manager, what? Promised to hold the job for me. Hold the job for moi, for me. My my what? Department. My department, right? My department expected To report higher sales this month. I didn't get the other one. It was complicated. Yeah, but I get confused because I I got my department. I get confused or I got confused. Got confused. Be careful with the press. Yeah, but what i what i saying when i when i grade my department report higher sales to expect this month expect to this month that's incorrect because report to expect that doesn't make sense oh okay it's uh, expected to report to report expected to report okay so yeah like that. that one was a little hard Instruction, choose the best option. Yeah, it was, it was. Choose the best option to complete that? the sentence. I am sorry, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not seeing mine, but do you all guys have that one, correct? Which one? Number five? No, I didn't get that, that one. I didn't got that one. You didn't get I this have it, one on the I test. I have it good. Have it correct, okay. Yeah. Okay. In that way. Choose the best option to complete the sentence. My mother works at a bakery. She also makes us breakfast every morning. So, 
let's go with this one. Choose the best option to complete the sentence. Uh, Diego, go ahead. I have a question in the second one. I know that we use a period when, when the idea of the sentence to, in the second one, we have, I have been so tired lately, all I want it to do is sleep. I know in my personal opinion, the two sentences has a synonym. Not that all, but it, uh, it's related in each other. So we have to use comma, not uh, that, because it's related. In English, that's in Spanish, but in English it's different. In English, always at the end of an idea, you use a dot. It's not it doesn't like matter one. if the sentences are are related. It doesn't matter. For example, I wake oh. up in the morning. It's full stop. No stop. Sorry, I wake up in the morning. Then I take a shower. Stop. I also go to the beach. For example, I don't know what I'm saying, but that is. Uh, stop. Even though everything seems related, you go it's with like a sequence. You can use sequence. you can use conjunctions if you want to use a comma. And a conjunction? after a, an N, you need to use a comma, guys. It's not like in, in Spanish. In Spanish, we say el niño se fue y luego se murió. <laughs> so we don't say we don't use a comma, but in English we can say the kid went went out of the building and coma, he passed away, whatever. So like that. So here guys, it will be, uh, my mother works at a bakery. She also wants us breakfast every morning. So it will be, uh, let's see, my mother works at a bakery. Hey. So guys, uh, yeah. Hey. Guys, que solo escribían la A aquí. Yeah. Okay. That Good. should be letter A. So, I have been so tired lately. All I want to do is sleep. So, it will be? Letter A letter again. A. The, wim on the, the women went bowling but also went to the movies. Both oh. sentences are incorrect. There Better were, see. This Better sentence see. is correct. Uh, bowling, but they, bowling, but they also went to the movies. Yeah, it's correct. Letter C. The end of the school year is coming. It's coming. The professor does not know my name. The end of the year is coming. Letter A. A. Letter A. Coming. The professor does not know my name. So letter A. Punctuation is very useful. It helps me write proper sentences. Punctuation is very useful, but it helps me not. This sentence is correct. Uh, let's see. Letter A. Letter, Letter C. Useful. The sentence is correct. It's correct. Letter C. But I have a question. When we use comma, <clears throat> there are a lot of scenarios that you are going to use comma. The most common scenarios are, for example, when we have conjunctions. Like, let's see, I'll send you this picture, guys. When we have Conjunctions. 
We use commas, like for example, if you're going to give a list of things, right? In that case, you are going to use commas. I go to the park, speak with my mother, blah, 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 blah. Like in okay. Spanish. Like in Spanish. To connect two okay. independent clauses, it is an old card. But, like we saw, it is very reliable. What are you going to use here to connect two independent clauses, guys? You are going to use subordinated conjunctions. Subordinated conjunctions. What are the subordinated? subordinating conjunctions, guys. It's very complex, this topic, guys. So these are the ones that we are going to use as... No, no, not subordinating conjunctions. It will be... Uh, not subordinating is... Let's see. Oh, yeah. So uh, we call it like femboys, right? So what is a femboy? This, for, and, nor, bad, or, yet. So they are going to require a coma, okay? So Before, all of, these uh, are the, uh, the femboys, we call them. How we call it? Fanboys. 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 Like this. What okay. does it stand for? Stands for for this. It's like in Spanish, no se puede en la cancioncita de como para que contra no se que. Algo así. Something. That was a song. That one was for, for, no, for prepositions. I never hear in, that. in English, they use this one. Fanboys. So for and nor bad or yet. So guys, after this, we use coma. Uh, to connect two independent clauses, we use we use the the fanboys here, the coordinating conjunctions. To set the introductory words, phrases, or clauses, yes, it will be there. Like despite having breakfast coma, blah, 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 blah. It's like my introduction. To separate the parenthetical element, football, which is a popular sport, when you add additional information, my car, which is a Maserati, uh, on, uh, one day, one day, it's super expensive. Okay, so you are adding information, you use this one. Set off phrases to express contrast. Money is good, servant but a bad master. Ah, we are making a contrast here. To avoid confusion for most. For example, imagine I say, after this students, that's incorrect. I need to use a coma. After this coma, students will blah, 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 blah. Okay? Uh, I saw she was busy and prepare for to live. To separate the quoted parts. I don't think you should do that, he said, when we are talking about quotations, right? To set off expressions that interrupt the sentence. This, after all, is a company which is a wash with cash. So like that. I'll send you this one right there to the group. Aha, uh -huh, Diego, go ahead. Uh, it's just for uh, let you know that Jaime Quintanilla want to be in the meeting with us and i'm not sure if he is here right now who who who, who what sorry jaime quintanilla what happened with jaime he's not with uh, us right now he wants to to he's to trying to connect he's trying to connect yeah i just want to let it to let you know because he growed a on the whatsapp group i don't see him tell him that i don't see re the request to join Okay. Yeah, I don't see any message of somebody trying to join to the meeting. I think it's because he is using he your a, 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 a wrong idea. Yes, I, that's for advanced one. 
or could be because of the time too. I don't know if uh, the time could be that it's not letting him pass. I think he's in the US right now. So it depends the hour. So I don't know if that could be affecting, but yeah, tell him that I don't see this one right there. So, okay guys, that's how we use it. So comas in English are super different from comas in Spanish. In Spanish, we use them, uh, there are some rules, but usually to separate sentences, right? In English, we use periods to separate sentences. That's the difference. And there are, oh, there are a lot of cases that we saw. Give me a second, I'll send you this one. Do they group? <clears throat> Come on, I cannot open what's up. Just give me one second. You know, guys, we are going to do something for the last oral evaluation. It will be pretty nice, but I need you to, I need you, your fully commitment on this one. What do I mean with this one? We are going to do it the last 10 minutes of the class, guys. Later on, I'll tell you more details, but uh, I will need you to record uh, an answer. I'll tell you what will be the answer that you will record and what you will do. So now I see Jaime, you know. So later on, I'll tell you, but it will be just 10 minutes that we will be taking to make the test. So, and I prepared it already. So we have the test already. You are going to talk about one topic that probably you don't know anything about it. You are going to listen to one audio first, then you are going to read one thing, and then you are going to tell me in two minutes, what did you understand from this one? Okay, it's a topic that probably most of you don't know about it. I cannot tell you what the topic is, but yeah, that's what we are going to be doing when are we going to have that one guys we are going to have it next friday guys so friday 15 it's when we are going to have that one guys uh let's see thank you for helping me here guys with time as well so There you have the rules. I send it already. I'll send you the fanboys, guys, so you learn them. Once you become familiar with all this stuff, guys, believe me that you're right. You are not going to have you are not going to be afraid of any type of test or stuff like that because you are going to be really good at it. So, uh, there you go. There you have both guys. They are, they are loading still. My internet is kind of rocky tonight. Okay, people, let's continue right now with the test. Give me a second. It's loading, Yale Banakai. My connection. But tonight. 
So guys, there we have. Complete a sentence with the words in parentheses. Remember to use the correct form of the verbs. I invited new student hat. I got a question there because the 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 right answer is I invited the new student to have dinner with me. But I wrote I invited a new student to have a dinner with me. Which yeah, is you know, different. I was thinking about it because there was another person with the same mistake. So, voy a corregir eso. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, okay? I had the, the same with us. Okay. As Diego. Yeah, don't worry. So, unos eligieron A, otros eligieron D. The things that I'm not going to correct, guys, misspellings, porque si hubieron bastantes misspellings. Okay, so that one, I'm sorry, my little friends, but keep an eye on your spelling. De eso que, que puede ser ambivalente, guys, ambiguo. Yeah, we are going to change it. So here, I invited uy, the new student. We don't know. We can say a new student, right? To have dinner with me. Okay. A lo que pusieron por ahí, I invited, y pusieron toda la oración. I don't know what to do, guys. You should be careful with the, that one. Así que se lo voy a tomar esta vez. Okay, so I'll help you with this. problem for that uh, in the fourth teacher. Don't worry. Specialist advice. Pusieron to the presenters. No necesario, guys. So, ahí se va mal. So, advice presenters to design. Okay? Visually engaging presentation to avoid boring the audience. So, like that. Number three. He. Aquí hubo otro problema, guys. Encourages. Aha. Uh -huh. Encourages. Third person, guys. I got that issue yeah. too. That one, yeah. Eso sí, no tiene perdón, guys. No, I know. I have some that doesn't have with, with, with that. forgiveness. So remember third person. So he encourages his parents to eat healthy foods every day. She warm him not to be late. Ireland, y aquí hubo otro problema. Muchos dijeron don't, doesn't, okay? Doesn't. Or you could say, does not allow people to smoke in bars. I didn't know that one. But yes, it's sir. So, Number four, sir. Uh -huh. Who's sir? Yeah. Number four, uh, the verb to be uh, change the, the word to. It said. <laughs> So it's ah, you see, Miss Spelling, guys. Miss Spelling. So, <laughs> not to be. Yeah. Which is the difference to grow him not to be and to not be? I'm sorry? What's the Which difference? Which is the difference uh, if I grow uh, him to not be late and him not to be late? Him not to be late? Him not to be late. And how him, do you write it? Him to not be late. To not be. To not. Which is the different? I know that I'm wrong, but, I'm not, but I don't know why. <laughs> the reason is this. <clears throat> In this case, you are using this verb. And... In a way, we could say that this one becomes a semi-auxiliary in this moment, okay? So, 
it becomes a semi-auxiliary. So the structure will be subject plus that pair plus two plus the other pair, right? So if it is negative, it will be here, the negative part. That's why you say does not allow people Mm, sorry, that one. No. Warn him not to be late, not to. That is the structure. And that's the reason, the grammatical, the grammatically stuff behind this one, guys. That's the way it goes. So that's the why, that's, that's why this one, guys. Let's continue right now. Instructions, read the items below. If a period is missing or if it has been misplaced, <coughs> provide the necessary punctuation. Period part two, write a full sentence. I would like to know what work he did best. So, guys, I would like to know what work he did best without question mark and just put uh yeah super good <coughs> do i need to write it everything let's see because uh, see yeah you have to write yeah, all to. so yeah it's not a question guys it's uh it's a, it's a question, question that is, I don't remember the name. It's a indirect, indirect question. Indirect question, yeah. I don't care, she said. What do you think about it? Yeah, it has to be before the I don't know quotation mark. Excellent. <laughs> that. To go inside. Right? Yeah. Needs to go inside the quotation mark or the quotation symbol. In the third one, I did a miss. I, what what were you, you, you use? You mispronounce? Mispronounce. Misspelling. Misspelling. My father said, because, okay. Mm. In always, I grow all rice. But the the answer is correct. Ah, right? yeah, you so, told me all so, right. All right. Yeah, uh, come on, my friend. I help you with that. <laughs> I wonder what <laughs> the job was here. But I I got the same the same problem even in Spanish. <laughs> ah, no, 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 Spanish. Forget about Spanish. Your life in English is different from your Spanish life. <laughs> it's the same because I have the problem there too. Don't worry, you have problems in Spanish. I guys. I don't know where the tildes go. I have a big problem with tildes. I know the, the easy ones, like for example, uh, corazón, melón, cabezón, pelón. Yeah, I know in the O, right? Or if the word has like future, right? If it is future, jugará. Comerá if they finish in vowel, but that's the most that I know. So, but don't worry, you make mistakes in Spanish. That's okay, but don't make the mistakes in English, people. So, teacher, uh, in 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 this one, number three, I instead of comma, I put two points. That's not possible in English. In Spanish, yes. Uh, yes. Okay. But in English, no. Okay, I, I got it. So Thank you. Uh, the two, well, the column, the column, let's go guys, let's go with this one. You know, one that I don't really know, I never understood that one is the semicolon. I don't know how to use that one. I don't know why does it exist. I don't like it. 
I dislike the semicolon. But the colon, when do we use the colon, guys? To introduce a list of serious quotations and explanations. Uh, well, you can use it, you know. You can use it, but the exception is when you are, uh, well, you need to understand this one. And you will know what's the difference between direct and indirect speech. Indirect speech, we can use the, the column. In indirect speech, you cannot use column. You need to use comma. So this one, the one that we have here, it's indirect. Very confusing, you know, very confusing. But if you practice this one, guys, you are going to be kings, masters of this stuff. So uh, that's the reason why they don't use it. And to separate independent clauses, they will not make it. The storm is too strong. Here we can use a comma instead. But yeah, you know, so it depends. Let's go with the semicolon here. The column and the semicolon, don't ask me, guys. I never understood that. Sorry. Yeah, but you are not a teacher. Yeah, but I'm an honest teacher. So uh, let's see between the items that are least of our series when the items themselves contain commas. So it's like confusing, you know, it's very confusing. So uh, I don't like this one semicolon stuff. I understand the idea, but I, it's like subjective, I think. Uh, let's see guys, let's continue. Hey, I'm going to not finish on time. So, uh, let's see. I wonder what his job, what his job was here. We don't use. Oh, come on, what did I do? We don't use All question right. mark. You just use. Charlie barked widely when he caught the scent of a fresh bacon. So, guys. Where do I place the dot? Inside? At the Outside. end. The end. At the end. At the end, right? So it will be? There. There. And that's the way it goes, guys. Reading, read the answer, read and answer the questions correctly. <clears throat> you are Beatrice. Hang on, Andrew. Okay, what's up? It's Caroline. It's Caroline's birthday tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's right. You thought about what to get her. You mean a present? Why don't you buy one from both of us? I'm sorry, I'm totally slipped my mind and I'm working, at, I'm working till late. So could you pick up a gift today? I guess what sort of thing were you thinking of? You know, got ideas? One sec, phone. Okay, I'm back. Just had an idea for a gift. Gone. New headphones. Nah, Jeremy said he was getting her headphones. Okay, what then? How you seen those gift card, those gift certificates for spa? Maybe one of those. She'd love that. I'll pick it up today then. Thanks a million. Appreciate it. No worries. See you tomorrow then. Yep. What time was it again? Four? Four thirty. I can pick you up at your house if you like. See you, see you then. Bye for now. They have present for Caroline. That is true or false, guys. False. Super false. They are deciding. Andrew was supposed to, to get the gift. I don't remember. So. Yes. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Yeah, true. It's true. So he was supposed to do it. Beatrice can get the gift because she is at work. False. False. No, false. right? That is false. Andrew suggests headphones. 
That is, don't remember. True. Who says they have? True. Have? True. True. Yeah. You're there, Beatrice? Uh, yeah, true. They think Caroline liked the spa. At the end, true. She'd love that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's true. They are meeting this afternoon at 4 30. False. False. Is it tomorrow, right? Tomorrow <clears throat> afternoon. Yeah. False. Andrew speaking, Beatrice up. Sure. sure. Oh, really, don't remember. Yeah. So, Mr. Agra, question. Yeah, so tomorrow, what is it? Yeah, tell me. What is Duno? I don't know. I get confused with that because I, I thought that, I, that was a name. Hmm. So I get confused be, because I try to understand the that conversation because I thought that it was three person there. Yeah, I agree. The conversation is very strange. It doesn't help much to identify who is who. Uh-huh. So that was I thought that Duno was a person, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, Did I know. Call you call you then. I'm sorry? It could be called you then. The question, what was the question you, uh, see you then? See you, see, see you is, no, see you is, see you. See you. It's like in Spanish yeah. guys, we don't say, por qué? We only say. That, that's, an, that's an informal communication. That's an informal, that's an informal. Mm -hmm. It's like by the way or something Sorry. like that. that you, yeah, like you, lol you, you, and you stuff lol. like that, right? <laughs> And do know is do what what can you call you repeat? That? I don't know. I what don't is the know. word? Do know. Is it in the paragraph? Yeah. Yeah. Could you please do know? Do know. Oh, yeah. do know. Do you know? Oh, it's it's like a uh, gona. It's Wait, like gona. It's, it's like buena cara. Do know. So. Yeah. Later, guys, we are going to go with these things because they are super important. Like, where do I use ain't? Probably you have seen this one before. So, yes, guys, we, review answers. We, we no don't. Puedo ver la nota. we so, don't. That's the way it goes, this one. And I cannot do anything else because I am the person doing it. So, guys, uh, that's the way this one was supposed to be, guys. So... I will help you. I know there are a lot of people, they have mistakes, like spelling mistakes and stuff like that. Also, if you had problems with the third person, that one, no. If you had problems with the verbs in past, no, guys. But if you have problems with misspelling, all race and stuff like that, I help you, okay? So I'll help you with that one, guys. And the, the last one. The what happened the, the last, last one? one? The last one is Andrew speaking Beatrice. Yes, yes. Uh, because I remember that I, I, I select some uh, I correct, but and uh, after the exam, uh, it was like I was to change the, my answer. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't get you. What, what seems to be the problem? No, this guy, I remember uh, some uh, questions I, I marked correctly, but after the exam, I, I saw the, that was thing incorrect. I don't know. I uh, don't know what to do there. Um, 
See, did anybody else have a problem like that? That the exercise not matching or something? This matching what you have done already? That's why, guys, you have the review part. <laughs> always try to do it. Always try to review it. So, like that. And in that way, we can we can see all, all stuff. Going yeah, I, sent you, I sent you uh, that it, it didn't take me um, that part, but I sent you a screenshot that that what it was what I don't what I did. I'm sorry, what I did, Mark. And you told me that you were going to correct that. Oh yeah, that one. Yes. So uh, don't worry. Uh, please send me a message with that one, and I help you with this one. Okay. So, David, please do it and I'll help you with this one. Send me a message, let's say tomorrow, for you to remind me. Porque si lo hago ahorita se me va a olvidar. Entonces, send me a message tomorrow, please. Póngalo ahí en las notas. Acuérdense, David, o uno de ustedes, póngame ahí. Mister, acuérdese lo que dijo en la clase. And I, ah, okay. So, people, we finish with this one, guys. And. Let's talk about the future. Guys, there are a lot of things we need to work on. We are going to start working on one specific thing. And I want you to, we are going to see some pronunciation stuff. Actually, we are going to work with the vowels. I think the vowels fix a lot of pronunciation issues we have. So uh, let's see. Have you ever seen that thing that I sent to the group, guys? Have you ever seen those symbols? No, well, in the dictionary, but not in that way. <laughs> yeah, I have ever seen that, but when I look for the pronunciation of, so, of something, but I don't know how to read it or say it <laughs> because I don't, know, I don't understand. You don't understand them. Don't worry. Uh, guys, let's see. Today, guys, we are going to, because I didn't don't have a lot of, give, give me just a second. No, why did I close? So guys, we will watch a video right now. And you are going to understand this one. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lang Focus channel and my name is Paul. Today I want to talk about why English spelling is so damn weird. Damn with a silent N. English is well known for its chaotic and seemingly unpredictable spelling. How do you think you say this word? It's fish. Here we have f as in rough, i as in women, and sh as in nation. Well, okay, that's not really how fish is spelled, but you get the point. Sometimes gh sounds like f, sometimes o sounds like i, and sometimes ti sounds like sh. The famed British philologist William Walter Skeet once said, No one can tell how to pronounce an English word unless he has at some time or other heard it. I guess that's like the time I referred to the Pyrenees Mountains as Pyrenees, a region that spans the Spain-France border in the westernmost Pyrenees Mountains. A learner of English or a young native speaker seeing this word for the first time might read it as indict, but it's actually indict. And once they learn that this word is pronounced rough, they might pronounce this word as tho-rough. But it's thorough or thorough. For people who already use these words in speech, then reading them is not much of a problem. But I doubt they'll always be able to spell them when writing. Doubt. 
Why is English spelling like this when so many other languages have systematic spelling that corresponds with pronunciation? Well, many other languages have undergone a spelling reform to clean up their own inconsistencies, while English has never really undergone that type of spelling reform. So, modern English spelling continues to be a product of its history. 1300 years of history. The vocabulary of English consists of four major word stocks. A Germanic core, mainly from Anglo-Saxon but also from Old Norse. French, including both Norman French and Parisian French. Latin and Greek. These four word stocks all have different spelling systems. English spelling has had its complications right from the start. When the Anglo-Saxons first began writing in the Latin alphabet rather than their runic alphabet, there weren't enough individual letters to represent all of the sounds of Old English. So some letters represented more than one sound, and some non-Latin letters were used. Nowadays, many of us tend to think of written English as the basis of English, but back in those days, it was seen as merely a representation of speech. So there was a lot of dialectal variation that was reflected in spelling, and the same word was often spelled in various ways, even by the same person. This situation continued through the Middle English period and even into the early modern English period. Shakespeare even spelled his own name in several different ways. Mm. But let's go back to Middle English for a minute. English entered the Middle English period with the Norman Conquest, when the Norman French-speaking rulers had a tremendous impact on the language. Many, many French words were adopted into English, in large part keeping their French spelling, even though the sounds and stress patterns changed to match the English language. So there's bigger, which is probably Germanic, and there's figure, from the French word figure. There is bridge, and there's marriage, from French mariage. We have the Germanic word sit, with an S, and we have the French loanword city, with a C, because in French, C is pronounced S before E and I. Similarly, there's the Germanic word kill and the French loanword sell. Changes to the spelling of existing words were also made by Norman scribes, who preferred French spelling conventions. The CH sound, as in church, used to be written with the letter C, but the Normans began using CH, since at the time, CH represented CH in French. That changed, and ch came to represent the sound sh. So there are additional words borrowed from French in more recent centuries that feature the sh sound, like champagne and chateau. You'll also see ch spelled tch after short vowels, as in catch and dutch. But as always in English, there are exceptions, like much and such. Norman scribes also changed the spelling of qu from cw to qu. So the word quen, meaning queen, was originally spelt like this, but became spelled like this. Even though qu was already pronounced k in Parisian French at that time, the qu pronunciation existed in Anglo-Norman, the Norman French dialect that had developed in England. So some French loanwords, in particular those from Anglo-Norman, feature the qu sound, like question and equal. But later, Parisian French grew in influence while Anglo-Norman faded, and French borrowings from that time onward feature the k sound, like etiquette. And there are many words like this that historically never had a qu sound, but are spelled with qu because that's how k is now most commonly written in French. Physique, unique, key, lacquer. They introduced the ou spelling of the sound ou. So, hus, the word for house, began to be spelled with ou closer to the modern spelling. This also happened to the word moose, meaning mouse. They also changed the letter U to O in some cases when it was followed by V, N, or M, because in cursive writing it looked too similar to those letters. So now we have words like come, some, love, and son, in which O represents the short U sound, a. Uh. But this spelling didn't fully catch on, so we also have words like dumb, drum, etc. And as you can see here, I'll send you the video. So if you want to continue watching this one, English is a mess, okay? So basically there are a lot of things that do not make sense here. And what happens? Well, that is using an alphabet that is not made for English. The alphabet, the Latin alphabet, it's made for all our uh, Romans languages, especially Italian, Spanish, and just Italian and Spanish. Well, French a little bit, but they use a lot of symbols, a little, a lot of accents. 
So, but also French and Portuguese too, but they use other type of pronunciation stuff. But uh, Americans use this one and actually they have a lot of problems with this one. So that's why for you not to have a problem, how to pronounce this one, for example, this word guys, uh, how will you pronounce this one? Probably you would say apple. Everybody would say apple because we know that it's apple. What about this one, guys? Everybody would say apron. That actually is apron. apron. Good. Yeah, it's apron. Or this one. So everybody would say a core, right? But this acorn. one is acorn. So why? Well, we will see that one. That's what we are going to study. And we are going to study looking at symbols, guys. So I'm sorry. The grammatic symbol, no, not grammatic symbol, the phonetic symbols. And we are going to go this module, guys, only with this 12. These are the short vowel. We are going to go a little bit with this one, a little bit with this one, a little bit with this one as well. And that's it, okay? Those are the ones that we will see. So we will see at, around 12, 16 sounds in English that if you know how to use them, so you are not going to have any problems anymore. And you are not going to say banana. You are going to say the real pronunciation, which is an N. Okay. So you are not going to say alien anymore. They will say alien and so on. So we are going to start learning pronunciation, guys. We will focus on pronunciation. Also, we are going to see listening. We are going to continue with some other stuff. I'll show you what are the topics that we will be looking at. Just give me one second. Give me just one second, guys. So only two units missing. We have around 15 days left. So what are the topics that we will see, guys? Well, the grammar topics that we will be looking at will be the following. So guys, we are going to get with more vocabulary guys so we are going to get vocabulary we are going to talk about some little stuff and this one don't worry we are not going to talk about business anymore so another part and infinites are using a long signs alongside nouns and we are going to use two when do we use this one right two plus adverb two plus an adjective or two plus plus a noun that's one thing that we will see grammar coming from the book right? Uh, let's see, guys. We are going to start writing paragraphs, people, okay? And these are going to be part of our homework, okay? How to write a paragraph, the structure of a paragraph, and stuff like that, guys. Uh, we are going to use enough plus a noun plus an infinitive, adjective plus enough plus an infinitive too. So we are going to continue with this of infinitives. Uh, we are going to see how to write effective paragraphs, guys. And that's it. So this part that we will be looking at, guys, will be more about writing. 
So we are going to study writing, but also we are going to study uh, the things that I told you guys, that low, those little things about grammar that are important. And you know, it was really good today. So one person was talking and also I saw it on the forum as well, guys, that you are using four and two correctly. And that makes me feel happy that you use this two structures properly. So that's really good. Still, we need to continue with doing some other stuff, but it was really good. I really liked it. So guys, that's what we are going to be looking at uh, these days, pronunciation. We are going to be looking at listening still. So don't worry about listening, guys. We will continue with it. Uh, practicing. I was checking the listening part and I don't see a lot of problems on this one. That means our listening skills are good, are doing good. Still, we have some problems, right? We can solve them, so don't worry about it. But guys, this is time for you. So we are in the middle of the course. I would like to know what is something you would like to see here more? something that you think would be a good idea to implement. Any comment? Go ahead, guys. Tell me, what would you like to see? What are the things that we need to change? Something that I haven't done and you would like to, to see something probably I promised and I forgot about it because that usually happens. So, aha, guys, go ahead. Something that I need to improve as well. Uh, Mister, in my personal opinion, I uh, I know that your class is is the best. I have problems with grammar, but it's but are my problems because I didn't didn't have a a, a course of English. It's my first time in a course. So I have a lot of issues in, dra in drama, but I have to work on it. So in my personal opinion, your class, it's okay. And we are, we are learning about something in grammar and speaking and listening even. So to me, it's okay, Be but it, it's my first time. So I have a lot of issues, but I have to deal with it by my own. So for me, it's okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate your comment as well. So thank you. And guys, we were talking about tutors and stuff like that. Well, I come here to offer you one thing. No, no, it's not an offer, but it's a recommendation. If you can do it, guys, use this one, guys. If you want to improve this six months, if you- I, I really, uh -huh, Go I ahead. Have to I really don't see uh, something to improve. I really, I really like, I love the way you um, teach us and make us think. Uh, you make us think and, and, and pay attention to, to uh, listening practices. Or and I love that kind of a TOEFL exercises as well. Uh, I like it because you make us I repeat, you make us think. Thank you. Really appreciate it as well. So, sure. and you know, uh, this, let me tell you something. It's the first time that I, go ahead, Miguel. Later. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, just my personal opinion is I totally agree with the other guys say everything is up to us because in my personal in my personal life the thing that i'm doing and i'm going to take it back again because uh, back in the day i used to every day in the morning i used to like to resolve any kind of test like basic any kind of test like it was like a quiz so mm -hmm. it was uh was going to i'm sorry it was very good, but I didn't continue doing that. So I need to go back again. I need to go in. Uh, I, I, basically, I have to do it. So that's why I think that everyone, it, as the other guy said, is 
everything up to us. If we want to improve our English, if we want to improve our grammar, we have to put a little bit more attention in, in everything. Uh, the thing that I do and what I'm doing is I'm trying to resolve like weekly quizzes every day, like basic about any topic is helping me, but I'm trying. <laughs> So, and I like the way how you teach us and I like the way how you, how, how you deliver the information to us. And you're a very patient person. That's very good. You like to show example, you like, lot. yeah, you help us a lot, basically. No, you, very... you help me a lot to be patient. Ah, because <laughs> there is another group. I don't want to talk about that group. But anyways, uh, that's something I like it, guys. And I like that also you you make your effort. So yeah, because I don't want I just want to talk about bad from the other guys, but uh, you know something that I really dislike a lot is when you don't do the things and you want to take the easy path. You know I identify some people that were cheating, sending the homework one another because they are they are mates in in their job so they are colleagues and stuff like that so uh and that's not it's not going to help you i yeah. was looking at your forum guys only 14 answers that means eight people were missing so this time guys we are not going to make any exception so the ones didn't do it you didn't do it still you have other points to to recover from this one so go ahead do it guys but please do your effort so that's something that i like from the group and please continue doing it okay yeah. so do it like always you do thank you yeah. peter peter mike I why are you why are you oh, calling me peter? I'm, I'm doing, uh, Bro. <laughs> because i'm doing the attendance right now and you are next to peter so and it was like Okay. So, Victor, <laughs> you're gonna offer something. I uh, wanna know what is it. <laughs> Sounds like I'm offering <laughs> empanada. Going to the party. <laughs> well, I'm interested, but I'm Mister. I'm interested. Let's see, guys. Whether you go. can make the investment. This is an investment, guys. This website, I recommend you this one. 100%. I use it. I haven't used it for a long time. Italki is the best for me. What can you do here in Italki? For example, you want to improve your English. So you come here, you can look for teachers, you can look for tutors. And if you don't want to pay a lot, well, there are ways. Look, this girl, $17, 30 minutes, too expensive, I think. But you can, well, you can go ahead and find cheaper, cheaper teachers here. Like for example, encontrar un profesor, you click here, find a teacher. Could you share, and... with, us? Could you share with us in, in WhatsApp, please? Yeah, but uh, let me tell you how it works, right? For example, here, uh, let's see. Um, just give me a second. You, you want a cheaper price, go ahead. Like $4 is the, is the minimum. So look, this guy. So you are going to get used to different accents. You are going to get used to different people. You pay, there are some discounts. Sometimes you can go ahead and look on the internet. I talk to discounts. So you have this one, for example, this guy. So you, you don't need to go to grammar unless it's necessary. But if you want to go, go ahead, do it. Look, this one, this guy is from South Africa. So a totally new experience. You click on this one and you go and find your teachers. So that's something you can do. I recommend you this website here. You need to pay, okay? You need to pay like $5. What I do, guys, what I did actually, it was like, I have my normal classes. Saturday and Sundays, 30 minutes to practice with a different person. So I practice the accent 
It, it was really good. Actually helped me to improve my German a lot. This one, I talked to people from different people from different parts of the world in German. And they are not like simple people. They are teachers. If you have a problem, you ask, hey, you know, I have never uh, understood this topic. Could you explain it? Could we have an interview? Could we do this one? Could we do it with that? And this guy will help, okay? Because you are paying for the service. So I'll send no, you this one, guys. It's a really no, good... you know how to say gutes beer. Yeah, in in German, right? So <laughs> let's see. Ooh, this is not the one. Let me just send you the link, and I'll show you another app before we finish, guys. Another app that I use. This one, it's like. For your level, I think it's not going to be that impressive. But it's really good. I love it. There are a lot of vocabulary you learn. So Pimslure, this is the app. You can download it on your phone as well. And you can start learning English. So what happens here is really good because uh, like for example, you want to learn English. Let's see. You select English, right? So, and you come here, you start learning English for Spanish speakers. Uh, let's see. And it gives you the courses. So you see here, you are not going to see the option that I tell you. You can try a free lesson. So you see how that one works. Try your free lesson. Believe me, it's really good. I really like this app as well. So the free <clears> lesson <throat> is very basic. Actually, it's pretty basic. But you can go ahead and. Mister. Yeah, go ahead. Have you ever used Duolingo? I like it, but it's just practice, I think. Uh, it's just for practicing. You know, I have sure. forgotten my German these days. I am not studying German anymore, like I did in the past. But after September, I will start going back again. So sure. anyway, you need to sign up. I don't want to sign up right here, right now. So, but the app is really Hi, You can go ahead and try this one, guys. Hi, here. good evening. Um, I am Antonio Tomasino. Tony, Tony. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Yesterday, I was not able to access to the class. But uh, I lost the, the, the test. So can I take it maybe tomorrow? We will, uh, we will see that one later on, my friend, okay? Uh, send me a message. Send me a message and I'll tell you what okay. you're going to do, okay? Perfect, sounds good. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care. Guys, we finished, Diego. Yeah, I just want to know if you have a website to to learn basic things. I mean, in grammar, because I have a lot of a lot of mistakes there. So I wanna I want to fix it out, but I'm not sure how. So if you have a website that can help them, it's gonna be okay. And I pre appreciate it. You can use these apps. They are really good. Babel and Busu. They are for free as well. You can or you can find them cracked as well. So you can go with that one. Another one that I use for exercises is this one. There are a lot of things you can practice there. And one YouTube channel that I really like for basic stuff are two. One is Alejo Lopera, that guy explains basic stuff, but also complicated stuff. And Amigos Ingleses, I really like them too. I love that. Amigos Ingleses, yeah, I like them. Yes, yes, I love that. They are I'm funny, so but they, they, they teach a lot of vocabulary. That's something that will help uh, you. So that's try with pretty... those things, uh, complement them, Try to have one hour every day to study, guys. It will help you a lot, believe me. 
So that's something you can try, people. <clears throat> so guys, tomorrow we start with all the powers. So for tonight, that's all that I have for you today. Jaime, go ahead. Uh, good evening, teacher. I, ju I just have a question because uh, I was not able to attend the last days that I, like I told you, I have a, my mm -hmm. work compromise, but I would like to verify how can I didn't lose those activities. Uh, but you can answer after after we finish the class if you want to because I I, I wouldn't like to take yeah. more time from the partner. Well, don't worry, I'll send you, I'll tell you what we are going to do. Okay. 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 So, thank you guys. Have a wonderful night, everybody. <laughs> and Jaime, send me a text message, a WhatsApp message. So. Okay. Uh, great. Bye, guys. Take care, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.